Growing up in South Africa, really all the building material that we used in building there is all brick and concrete. So it is fantastic to grow up in a culture where using solid materials is really the vernacular and what people are familiar with. Concrete is very, very special in that being a very plastic and malleable material, we can use it for floors, we can use it for sun control, um, you know, we can sculpt things out of it, we can chisel things uh, into it. And so it's really limitless in the way that um, you can express form. And I think through that it really affords you different opportunities to develop a, a language of architecture that is pretty much unique to that material. I couldn't honestly think of another material that is as versatile in the way that we can use it. There was a great quote by a guy called Lawrence Scarper from Pew and Scarper in the US and he said the most sustainable house you'll ever build is a beautiful one. But he said a beautiful building will endure forever. So with concrete we have that confidence that it's going to endure, it's going to be resilient, it will sustain many, many lives of the building. The long-term kind of durability of the material is a big factor. The way that it ages and the sort of patina that it develops through age is something that we see as something quite beautiful. And obviously the longer we can retain a building in its uh, original form and the more lives we can give it, the more sustainable it's going to be. So I think beyond satisfying all of the codes, I think there's a lovely sort of comfort and reassurance and confidence that clients get from the permanence of concrete, knowing that, you know, if God forbid the worst thing had to happen, that those elements are going to be there in perpetuity in the house and it's not something that's going to blow away or disappear in the event of a fire. So I think it's enormously reassuring. One of the other very exciting things about the use of concrete, particularly in roof forms, is the actual roof surface itself can become a sort of fifth elevation of the building. And what I mean by that is that rather than just having acreage of roof sheeting which reflects heat and just deals with rainwater in a very pragmatic way, we increasingly are using green roofs in our houses which create an incredible opportunity of creating new landscapes on elevated sites where, you know, again you might have stepping sites where one is sometimes detached from the land. Concrete gives us the ability to then create those landscapes in the air which is something very exciting. And the other interesting thing about green roofs is that in terms of creating thermal mass and creating an insulator, it is literally the world's best roof because um, you create so much density and so much weight in the roof that you create a space that allows you to really keep the space below that so thermally constant that it really is in a league of its own in terms of its thermal performance. When we come to a new project and we come to a new client, I still have a childlike enthusiasm about the potential that that site holds to develop an idea that can, in the fullness of time, enhance the sense of those people's lives living in that place. Do you know, when we talk about materials and we get excited with clients about architectural ideas, for us, our go-to place is concrete. You know, we think about every project in terms of that, that one little idea, it might be the outdoor room, might be a fireplace, that permanent uh, solid fixture in the house that hypothetically in a hundred years time if everything else fell down there's that one thing that kind of tells a story about the history of that house in that place. And there's something so strong about that solidity, that permanence, that resonance um, in the use of concrete that for us it sort of becomes a narrative and a, an idea that sort of underpins everything else that we do.